greetings of the hour guys hope all are fine in the previous class we have studied knocking of petrol engine let's just uh, revise what we have studied in the previous class this is a cylinder with a piston and a spark plug as you all know that in petrol engine fuel and air is drawn into the cylinder at the end of suction stroke and it is compressed and when it is compressed this piston hits the spark plug fuel is ignited fuel undergo combustion if the fuel undergo combustion at once then it is normal combustion the second image what you can what you can see on the screen at the end of suction stroke fuel is fuel and air is drawn into the cylinder and it is compressed and piston hits the spark plug fuel catches fire fuel undergo combustion if the fuel undergo incomplete combustion that means part of the fuel undergo combustion and the part of the fuel is remaining inside the cylinder the, the, the engine goes for the next stroke again fuel and air is drawn into the cylinder now you have unburned fuel remaining and the fuel added in the second stroke so when the piston hit the spark plug unburned fuel and the fuel added in the next stroke takes a fire at once as a result it results in a parallel combustion this parallel combustion produces shock waves and hits the walls of the cylinder and it produces a rattling sound that is called as knocking okay so in simple words to prevent knocking what we have to do is you have to increase the quality of petrol when we increase the quality of petrol all the fuel takes a fire at once okay so in the last class you have studied something about uh, anti knocking agents anti knock commonly used anti knocking agents is tetraethyl lead and when you mix petrol with tetraethyl lead it prevents knocking today let us see something about <coughs> unleaded petrol as the name suggests unleaded petrol is petrol free from lead that is called as unleaded petrol so what are the reasons to think of a alternative source as you know that lead is cheap lead is economic lead is effective to prevent knocking still we have to think of alternative why the first thing is when we use leaded petrol when the fuel undergo combustion combustion products is released to the atmosphere and the combustion products contains lead and lead as you all know that lead is toxic when it is inhaled it causes respiratory problems first thing second one is modern day vehicles it is fitted with catalytic converters to reduce pollution you know that catalyst is active only when the surface is free from other deposits but when you use lead leaded petrol lead is less volatile it get attached to the surface of catalyst and makes the catalyst inactive these are the two main reasons to think of unleaded petrol the definition is petrol free from lead that is called as unleaded petrol so what we have to do we have to increase the octane number now without using leads these are some of the compounds which can be used to increase the octane number that is methyl tertiary butyl ether ethyl tertiary butyl ether methanol or ethanol any chemicals any compounds can be used as a result the octane number increases so the next one is power alcohol it's it's less related with alcohol and more related with petrol it's one of the method to increase the octane number so what we have to do is we have to mix alcohol with petrol that is called as power alcohol to the maximum we can mix about 25% of alcohol to the petrol so if you want to uh, prepare 100 ml of uh, power alcohol we can mix 75 ml of petrol and 25 ml of alcohol that is ethyl alcohol absolute alcohol 
So what do you mean by power alcohol? Power alcohol is a blend of 25% alcohol and 75% petrol. And the alcohol, what you mix with the petrol, <coughs> it is industrial alcohol. Industrial alcohol, which is obtained from the molasses process, and it contains 95% of alcohol and 5% of water. You know that this water is not miscible with petrol. So what we have to do is we have to use some blending agents to make it miscible. So blending agents is commonly which is commonly used as benzene, toluene, ether. So let's see the advantage. As you all know that alcohol mixed with petrol it increases the octane number. It increases the quality of petrol. So first advantage is alcohol increases the octane number as a result octane number of the power alcohol <coughs> increases so second one better anti-knocking properties so octane number and anti-knocking prop knocking is inversely related higher the octane number lesser will be the knocking and the third one is alcohol promotes combustion as a result there will be no starting difficulties and uh, air required is less for the combustion these are the four advantages and let's go through the disadvantages of alcohol blended petrol alcohol lowers the calorific value because petrol has higher calorific value and alcohol has lower calorific value so as a result calorific value of the uh, fuel uh, decreases and one more main disadvantage is alcohol can be easily oxidized into acids you know that when the acid concentration increases acid comes in contact with the metal uh, corrosion increases so it increases the corrosion of engine the first disadvantage is alcohol lowers the calorific value so lower al calorific value of the fuel decreases second one is it corrodes the engine third one is air entering the entering to the cylinder has to be controlled because air required is less for combustion tomorrow uh, let's see uh, biodiesel and let's sum up this uh, chemical energy sources chapter thank you thanks for your time guys